you have an LG OLED and you love Apex Legend, you definitely want to use HLG. This looks insane. It's converting SDR to HDR and it looks amazing. You just go to settings and you step on select mode and click 1113111. You can do that for all SDR games. You're gonna change that EOTF from auto to HLG and you're going to turn off that tone mapping. So go to brightness and turn off tone mapping. This looks insane. <laughs> it just makes the game looks amazing. Like the best HDR you, <laughs> you've ever seen. And it's, it's doing a fantastic job. So the only problem, if you play this game all the time, this is all you play. And I know people that do that. <laughs> If you play this multiplayer game all the time, the only consideration would be the hood. It is very bright. So if you have a way to disable that hood or to make it smaller with a mod or to change the name, I mean to change the, the size or do something about it, <laughs> do it because it's definitely making the, the hood too bright in my opinion. It's also annoying, the, the hood is huge on the screen. I don't like that. Uh, I don't like that anyway. The hood is too big. So let's take a look at it. This looks fantastic <laughs> on HDR. So let me go back and forth for, for a moment. Just if you love this game, and I know there's a lot of people they play this game is one of the most popular ones let's take a look at it. this is the this is on SDR and now HDR <laughs> it's not only brighter the depth of the image is just amazing because you have you know you you have what is supposed to be dark is dark but then you have the Sun and the clouds and they are bright and you don't have any clipping you can clearly see all the highlights it's just amazing and you can use that for all SDR games and I think it is a great opportunity to go back and play um, classics like I was playing for example Mad Max which is one of my favorite uh, games of all time and the game looks insane with this setting HLG so having that option with this LG OLEDs I think it is a big 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 deal because most games are on SDR <laughs> so you have most games on SDR and you have a way to actually get an HDR experience uh, it is a conversion it's not through HDR but it's so good that I am doing a comparison series on this channel and on my comparisons when I see a bad HDR implementation HLG this option is just a no-brainer it works well all the time it just works well sometimes you know it's to be expected that HDR 10 is, is better but sometimes it is not so that Sun for example is not very impactful on this game there are other games that the Sun is a lot more impactful I think on this one that's like three four hundred nits not not impressive at all for some reason it's not making that Sun pop but everything else just look amazing like this is dark on the shadows it is not bright everywhere so I really love it this is amazing also the colors are popping beautifully and you need to change the colors on this SDR to HDR conversion you need to change the colors to native the color gamut needs to be on native because on SDR the standard is Rec 709 so when you are on HDR HDR is master on DCI-P3 or bigger color space you don't master HDR on Rec 709 so if you are converting from SDR to HDR you also need to convert the colors so you need to change this color gamut to native and I do a native saturation 50 uh, that's what I like and that's how I match my plasma TV and warm 50 and to learn how to change that color gamut, I have a video I'm gonna post uh, a link on the description. 
uh, you use the color control app to change that color gamut when you're using uh, game optimizer mode PC mode so yeah just wanted to do this video because I know this is a very popular game and if you are playing this all the time and you have an OLED TV you might be thinking man this is an HDR TV I should be playing HDR games <laughs> so if you're playing this all the time and it's on SDR you're kind of missing out <laughs> so yeah that's the way to go man it look it works a lot better than auto HDR I can tell you that a lot better than auto HDR from Windows and I would bet it is also a lot better than the auto HDR from the consoles because this is a conversion that the TV is doing based on the TV's capabilities so you know Windows and the consoles they don't know exactly what's going on with the TV sometimes like Windows just associate like a 1500 a nits profile the consoles like a 4000 profile something like that so it is this is a lot better for sure even even if you have windows with the tv on 800 nits which i have it, it doesn't work as near i mean not, not even close to this option so yeah try it out and let me know how you like that it works for everything every single game so I will continue my HLG to HDR comparison series. I just wanted to make this quick video uh, because this is a very popular game. So also Fortnite. You can try it on Fortnite. I'm also going to do a video about it because I think it is, it is transformative. <laughs> Fortnite, it just looks amazing like this game.